Hello, people of the internet. It's your boy, Skinny Penis, with another triple A video because we have a new ship. We have a new toy. We can play around again and explain cruiser balancing. <laughs> we have the Castille. Um, we can play it a bit. We can talk a bit about it. Got a. Why is he randomly added to my playlist? I didn't even click anything. Um, so, Castille. Essentially, nothing else but a weird version of a Henry. Like, it's not really, let's say, massively different to it. Uh, it has the same kind of guns, same kind of overmatch, same kind of HE penetration. And it looks a bit like a Napoli, though uh, don't be fooled. It is not a Napoli in terms of armor and tankiness. It is definitely not. It has 30mm or over, and it actually does eat a lot of citadels when it goes flat broadside, especially against heavy ships, but um, it, it can tank some broadside volleys against like normal cruisers. The heavy ones, like Novosibirsk, Stalin or some shit, will still smash completely through you, but um, like maybe a Des Moines at range won't citadel you, which is kind of the story of the current, uh, let's say, uh, story of uh, cruisers. Cruisers versus cruisers don't citadel each other, meanwhile battleships still fucking overmatch and sit smash you flat broadside. It's kind of like meh. The HP pool is also very low for the, let's say, attempted gameplay balance they tried to go for here. Because what it does is essentially just like a kite HE cruiser that has a good, uh, let's say, gimmick uh, when someone fucks up. Like, obviously, the burst, that's what I mean by it's a Gim Tenry. Like, the French cruiser line gets a straight up reload booster, which just straight up increases your DPM without any sort of downside, apart from the reload of the reload booster, obviously. Um, it just increases your reload at the right time. This one here shits all at once. Like you get two volleys at once, when you press F. And so when someone goes flat broadside in a, in a cruiser, or if a DD is close and spotted and about to go dark or gamer turn, uh, or he just is like on 8k HP only, you can just burst him in one go. Though then you have to go through a pretty big long reload. Interestingly enough, the burst reload doesn't really increase your reload that much. Uh, you only lose two or th two to three seconds uh, of DPM if you decide to go essentially burst only, which you can do. But the burst doesn't have any sort of additional gimmicks or additional benefits apart from sending uh, two volleys at once. There is no dispersion like on Conda. There is no um, penetration or damage increase like on Edgar. Uh, you just get two volleys at once, which punishes mistakes harder in one go, but afterwards you're obviously a bit, let's say, cucked. For example here, this guy is probably going dark. No, he's actually not, he shot again. We don't have to burst. Um, actually, we will have burst because he's trying to get away from me, so I will send the burst his way. Let's see. And then I want to go dark anyways and turn in, go into the corner. And I want to keep my spotter plane here too, to maybe then farm the uh, Hanover. But yeah, for example here, as you could see, theoretically the second volley, I wouldn't get it out um, if I don't burst. Uh, didn't really have massive impact here, was just three additional hits, but um, you get the gist of it, I hope. And the only interesting benefit about this ship uh, over like uh, Henry or other cruisers is, it has insane base speed and obviously since it's base speed it always keeps it. Same, actually same speed that P. Tourmont has now, um, 40, 40, uh, 39 knots uh, with speed flag, which also means you should obviously run speed flag, but you should always run speed, yield, uh, detonation flags, it's kind of mandatory. But yeah, that's like the only benefit that you have insane speed base, you don't need a speed boost for it. Uh, it comes at the downside though that this thing turns kind of like a truck. Turning circle seems to be rather shit, so is the rudder shift. Um, yeah, it's just like general cruiser balancing, like battleships at this stage are better concealed and uh, have more maneuverability than cruisers. Quite weird. This guy's coming back. I'll shoot him again. Doesn't seem like there's anyone going into the corner. Uh, not even my team goes into the corner. Got a pretty big hit here. Hopefully my sub spots him again because he now DCP'd. Uh, we don't have a carry in the game, which is very nice. That's something that I noticed about this show. You gotta be careful. It has insanely garbage air conceal, which is confusing to say the least, because, like, I don't really understand why such a cruiser needs that 
bad of an air conceal, like it doesn't really do much. Obviously the Hanover is immediately shooting me. But he's over le uh, under leading, crazy, because I am that fast. He this guy doesn't have fire prevention. I am sitting next to the sub. The sub is the one spotting me. And uh sub is actually pushed up really deep into our base. Maybe I can hit him blind. Have to be careful here with the an over shooting me, like he overmatches my entire ship and yep, exactly that happens, 16k. The problem is I am just spotted from the stupid sub, which is not very nice for me, let's say. Um, the fire chance on the ship is, by the way, not the best. I used to get a lot of fires, but definitely not as many as you would wish for. I can't even burst here anymore because, I mean, I guess maybe I can burst. I don't know if I lob. I lobbed a bit. But um, I try to figure out now by going more towards the island where the sub is. So he's like here-ish. Oh, there he is. We've waited. Okay, that's good. Maybe the Marceau gets on top of him and actually fuck him out. Uh, the Hanover actually DCP'd. Maybe I can get a nice little angle here while my spotter plane is still up. 13 seconds. We do be putting in the burst because he leaves range. Okay, we got a got a bit of uh, a few shots out, not too many. Um, is the submarine coming back into my range? No, not really. But the Marceau dumpsters him, so that's great. Yeah, I don't know fire. Fire chance on this ship is like quite mediocre. Doesn't really do much. But we got the sub out. The airwing seems to be fucking off, and uh, the Brisbane is something I overmatch in the middle. But as long as my four BBs don't stop base camping like they currently do, I can't really fight back. The only uh, benefit I have now is that the sub doesn't spot me from the right anymore like he did before. So now I can actually use the island in the way that I wanted. Which was uh, essentially shooting from stealth from behind it. Not loading AP here. I think he just DCP'd a ping. And I uh, want to get a fire. Brisbane is not spotting me yet, which is really good, so I can still stay on the stealth. Oh, we got a perma, I think, here, which also makes him be spotted for way longer. And someone smashed him big time, which is very good for us. Ah, nice, we had the aim bug again. Brisbane in the middle is dying to the Marceau, that is perfect. Ah, uh, fuck, second burst is blind, but um, it's it looked like he doesn't have a heal ready, so I tried to... Get a bit more alpha into him, so maybe he dies to the fire and another volley. But now we can finally push up. He's been dead. Elbing fucked off, incomparable, not really looking too spicy on the HP. Sadly, our submarine is not really spotting him. I think this kills if he doesn't get the heal up. Fuck, I burst at the stupid rock again. My fire is still ticking, maybe if I get a penetration here with AG. Uh, but he's dead to the battleship. Great. That's good. Now I can hopefully use my speed to get back into the fight a bit faster. Generally, I like the cruiser. Like, it's, uh, it's a fun little cruiser to play. The concealment is decent. I mean, it's still worse than it should be. Like, if you make battleships have 12-something conceal all the time, and if you even have battleships that have below uh, 12km conceal, like, I think Bungo gets up below 12 now, and the fucking incomp has below 12, like maybe you should make these cruisers like 10 point something too. But then again, you would probably shit on the light cruisers pretty hard from that point on. But yeah, the consumer isn't the best. Uh, given the fact you don't have armor, it's actually not the, the best package of... Uh, or best cruiser package you could hope for. But um, the guns are pretty nice. I mean, you have very high caliber, good arcs, fast shells, a bit faster than Henry. Um, good alpha. I mean, essentially it feels like Napoli guns with a better dispersion. Um, the ship itself feels, let's say, very gimped. Like you don't really, you don't really get to play aggro. The only thing it has going for it is that it actually gets a, it gets a decent amount of, um, What's it called? A decent amount of torps, suicidal torps per side. Ah, fuck, I bursted. I thought he goes dark and someone else gets some more damage into him. Doesn't appear that way, to be fair. Doesn't appear that way. We're capping the base. 
Unless he gets decapped now. He didn't. Very good. Get the cap here. We have three caps now. The Yamagiri doesn't have the HP anymore to really stand and fight us. So I have a spotter plane up soon. And there's four BBs in my mouth. And I actually bounced the GK. <laughs> uh, the Iowa just got one shot by torpedoes. I mean, the, the benefit of this ship is really like that you get 42 base pens. So there's a lot more uh, ships in this game that you can actually penetrate all over. Like the like the British... Eh, oh, not the British. The US BBs, for example, or something you just easily penetrate. Gotta be careful here. I'm actually giving a lot of angle to the... A lot of angle to the GK, and uh, Hanover just point and clicks me again for 10k, which is actually lucky that he only does 10k. I'm going to try and get a fire with my burst now, so that I can, uh, I don't know, so um, that I can go dark and turn it around or something. Don't really wanna keep fighting this. Uh, Hanover is quite interested in me, and I don't really like the over pan uh, overmatch. We are going dark. Oh, we can always just use the, the plane from up here. I think the car the submarine should kill him here with the torps. Yep, pretty easy. Uh, not the best kind of damage game, but I mean, you gotta play it a bit more cautious here. Too many BBs camping in base. Just turn it on me, overmatch me to shit. Um, thankfully, the Elbing is just AFK. The Yamagiri killed himself. There's another Yamagiri running around though. Um, Ragnar is also a bit of a problem because there's nothing really in base at the moment that can deal with him. But I think we can push up a bit. Hopefully my my submarine uh, got someone again. That is probably outside of my water plane range. But I could start fapping on the GK because he's stationary and I'm very fast. So I catch up to him anyways. Yeah, I think we start uh, grinding down the GK because I don't think the... I don't think the Yamato will be able to turn back, given the fact we have a U2501 running against him. That seems rather decent, let's say, as a game. Oh, a guy doesn't have fire prevention. That's really good. And the Elbing shot again. It's also very good. I'm about to maybe get some damage on the Elbing again. He still has 12k. Already got a lot of damage into him. But since I don't have the highest DPM, I obviously lack a bit of power to fuck him out fast. Here, Yamagiri died. I don't think I should keep pushing here, really. Should probably slow down a bit. I'm scared of the Yamato turning it back on me, kind of. I want him to go dark. There you go, he went dark. This guy DCPs the fire after like 20 seconds or so, which is quite interesting. Oh, maybe we can go for a nice quick little double. That would be really cool. So he will go behind the rock here, so I can't shoot him anymore. So we burst now. Then he goes behind rock, we go dark, and we can uh, reposition again. The uh, guy was waiting for me to burst and then opened up in his elbing, but he's also the one spotting me, so I go dark. Um, so he has a permafire, he will lose some more HP, the U should be having an easy time uh, fapping, fapping on these people, so what I will do is I will turn back towards uh, C and receive the Patron shit. A uh, good thing here is I actually do penetrate the Patron, with HE, I mean. 4v6, and uh, pretty much all depends on how smart the remaining players in our team are, because I still believe we can win this fairly easily. Depending on how much fires I get. I mean, obviously a double perma instant on this GK would have been the play. And perfect for me, but... I will burst again. Oh wait, the Petra is coming out. That's very good. Okay, we got another fire. I'm gonna tick for a while, but then he's gonna DCP again. I gotta angle out fast. Petra can actually fuck me up here pretty bad. We don't have radars anymore, which is a problem. Actually interesting. The 
Ah, oh, nice, see, I penetrated with AG. Even the blind burst killed him, 5k. It's uh, exactly where the burst is pretty nice to finish off kills. You actually, because of the burst, also get a lot of average frags. So I think the GK should die here and I can intercept the destroyers. Probably. Probably. Yeah, GK dead. No burst dead, but I think the Conqueror finishes him. Yep. Nice. Thought he would go dark because our I thought our submarine would go underwater after spotting him that close. He didn't. Ooh, our Marco Polo is healing, but it's very low. Maybe. Maybe I can get the jump on these people. Hopefully our conqueror doesn't get death struck by torpedoes. But it's good to know the two sets are on him. See? Is he shooting? No, he's not shooting anymore. Yeah. I'm gonna pop a hydro in front of the in front of the Marco Polo. So this guy still sits in the smoke, I think. Maybe I can catch him out here. Nah, uh, doesn't seem like it. Nah, it doesn't seem like I caught him. So what I will do is I will block the cap against the Ragna so we win. Should be easy. This Yamato is sus anyway. I can't continue on this path. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Magiri left and spotting me. He got in he got away. Like if you would have kept in the smoke for a bit longer, I would have been able to go so close that I can just kill him. Um this guy still has a heal. No he doesn't. Doesn't seem like it. So before he goes dark here, because he tries to go dark, I can burst his ass. My dispersion plays well, which it seems to be doing. I can kill him. Yep. You go. You get like, instead of two volleys here, I get three, which is additional damage that kills him. And that's actually great to have. And uh, we're actually looking at a pretty decent game, um, but most of it is courtesy to the enemy being stupid and my U2501 actually being fairly decent. Uh, the Yamato will lob me here, but I think I will get out of the out of the turn before his shells arrive. Still hydro on for 30 seconds, so I should catch his additional sets. Yeah, there's one. I don't know, the HP on this Yamagiri is extremely low. I mean, it's not losable, I think, but I want to keep B, play my life on it. What the fuck our Conqueror is doing? He could have just run middle. Wait, he's back at it again? He's back behind the rock again, okay. We block an additional cap, so this should be GG's, even if I die, even if the Conqueror dies, probably the U2501 is just capping, the Yamagiri is in no position to cap anything now. Uh, we should be having a easy time. Yamato fucked his blind drops completely, both of them. I will defend. You're not defending against shit, by the way, friend. You could have just run it into C behind a rock and capped, but a win is a win. We're not gonna maul. Ooh, uh, ooh, very interesting. Oh, nice. This fucking Yamagiri is super close to me. And my ship turns like absolute garbage. But this motherfucker didn't have turrets turn, so... Well, I will eat still one torpedo. And then the... Yamato probably kills me. I didn't expect him to send the torps right at the, at the correct time. But I guess it's RPF that makes him do this. Lucky that the Yamato didn't have the turret's turn, to be fair. And I should maybe live one volley here, maybe. Don't get fires though, which is sad. Weeks, this is what I mean with the overmatch. Could have bursted, I didn't know the Conqueror would kill the Yamagiri in one go. Sadly, I don't get the additional damage there, but doesn't matter. Um, overmatch moment though. Nearly died. Yeah. Um, yeah. So as you can see, the fire chance is for some reason pretty fucking shit. 
for the reload and gun caliber. But um, it's still decent enough to do something. So yeah, so yeah okay, the, the submarine was a griefer. And I played off him, so this is exactly why we could win. The rest of the team was quite, a uh, let's say, mediocre. Let's call it mediocre. <clears throat> no further comments. Um, good thing it was the Hanover our team though, right? Super ship. Um, let's quickly go into the spec. The spec is essentially just basic cruiser. Uh, theoretically, you can once again go outnumbered. Haven't done a video on these in a while where I show the specs. Um, outnumbered theoretically works wonders on it because it's already decently fast and the dispersion obviously helps you with your uh, great caliber. Um, but a top grade is just procced a lot and I like it. Uh, it's just generally better in randoms. We're pushing for kiting for whatever, just having more reload is good. Um, but yeah, outnumbered is the only thing you could switch here. The rest is uh, always the same. I don't think it works at Lighthouse. Um, not really the ship to do so because you don't have our, uh, armor. We run a Hydro mod, which is just a straight up upgrade. If you have it, if you can't afford it, then do it. Otherwise, same modules as always. Aiming, prop, concealment, reload, and the flags. I run it Hydro. Uh, you can obviously run it uh, with def AA, but um, I mean, the AA is quite, let's say, mediocre. Um, but yeah, I'll just like, you have to choose between Ray, Ray, uh, def AA and Hydro. And I definitely want a Hydro, because at least I can do something against Torp and EDs. Anyways, um, let's go into the next battle. Interesting, we get the new map, small map, and my cruiser isn't really designed for that map. I, I don't really like to see it. My concealment isn't top uh, top kick uh, broken, or like under 10 km, so I have a hard time staying unspotted. But I also can't really lob islands, so... And I have the shit spawn side as well, like this one here is way worse than the north spawn, given the islands. Um, actually, the north spawn is so much better. Like, that island plays better, this island plays better, this island is insanely broken from north compared to south, these islands are playable, these aren't really, uh, even this island is better. <laughs> like, I don't know, man, or like at least equal, like this north spawn is pretty fucking favorite here. But let's see what we can do. I mean, I will still try to get into broadsides of people, sadly only two cruisers, uh, but maybe DD overcommits and I can help my DDs uh, out trade with the burst. Um, other than that, the battleships are okay-ish, let's say. There's a Satsuma in Ohio. I can perma fap on me on this map, which isn't that great. But the rest is kind of fine. Um, yeah, let's just see what we can make happen here. Uh, torpedo boats are, let's say, decent on this map. It's not as bad as people think. But um, yeah, theoretically, a more open, wider map would be better for them to outflank. They can't outflank here. But um, t torpedo boats with good DPM, like Holland or so, can get a lot of torpedo hits here. Uh, just because they can park so close to people and spam torpedoes. Yeah. Holland in general, not really good. That's not the topic of the video. The topic of the video is Castille and how we make it work here. I would have loved to see the Moscow and my team and the enemy team, because Moscow is really gimped on this map. 14km concealment, you don't really move around a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking about actually staying on this island for a second, because turning out now might actually cost me my life. I have zero information on enemy ships. And my concealment is pretty shite. Hmm. Hmm. So B is already ca- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do this, we do this, we do this. Come on. Can I get out? Oh, he's already smoking. Oh, he's running, he's running. He's fucking it, he's fucking it. No! Ah, oh, that's so fucked. I can send Torps though, so... Maybe I get some hits there. That, sh that wasn't really the timing I was looking for. Ah, uh, he moves out of it again. What the fuck? Bruh. These people are brain damaged. Wait, why is he spotted though? Why is he running into Elving Torps? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sarge. Mm -hmm. I'll pop a plane and shoot this guy because I can actually penetrate him. And use my HE pen here. I'm 
my Moscow is having fun trying to get into position. But what he should have done is power through to the rock, not slow down. Also use his uh, radar maybe because there is a DD right in his mouth. Okay. Yeah, there's a hard on right in his face. Our Elbing dodged the Torps though. Great. I can't shoot the Yamagiri yet. Bad. Can't shoot the Henry either. Henry died to, DC to the... Ah, oh, that guy DCPs and the Torps are too early. The Shema Torps. Um, interestingly enough, I kind of covered like half the map with my spotter plane so I can at least farm a lot. Yeah, all the Torps are coming in right now when he has DCP still up because he was in DCP. But I can use my spotter plane for 40 more seconds, so maybe I can get some follow-up fires. Maybe. Ah, my Moscow is actually diving to the island. The moment he makes it, he becomes a pretty big menace for them to deal with. I am actually okay. Is he okay though? I think he actually is. No more torps on him. Go into this plane view. Uh, reload fast enough so I can burst. Watch this, watch this. You go. Plane off, out of range. But at least there is another volley coming in. So hopefully, hopefully we get the permafire to grief one additional heal. Uh, we got jack shit. Nice. Um, as I said, fire chance maybe a bit too low. <laughs> I want to go dark now and run at these people. Uh, actually, mm, I won't run at these people because the Schlieffen is coming in. And the Schlieffen is something I can't really fight with 30mm armor as a fat break. So I'm going to leave it to my EDs, Moscow and Mecklenburg to just farm them out. I will hopefully help against the DDs in middle. And the submarine who's trying to push through. Hydro up in 50 seconds. Um, those are Yamagiri 20 KMs. Actually fairly shit for me. My Shema is going for the middle spot though. I can go with him. Yeah, smells like shit. this map. I mean, maneuvering here in base is already risky for me because this is actually, even though it's out of my range, it's not that far away. I don't want to eat it. The submarine is the one spotting me, I think. I'd think. I have to take this shot, by the way. Otherwise, I'm fucking nose in here and doing nothing. So I will chance it on hopefully no set, maybe one. It's very hard for these people to judge the speed sometimes. So this is something that works in your favor. I'll shoot that really. I drew acoustic search is on. The fucking Grozovoy gets so lucky here, dude. Holy shit. That is criminal. I can stop here though and uh, just shoot into their base. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Man, these fucking destroyers are so lucky. No, it's so fucking bad, dude. You can't have that much luck, bro. It's fucking insane. I'll turn in now. Ah, wait. Finally got the fucking burst out for once. <clears throat> He's 1 HP. Maybe my... I might show I get some torpids here. Maybe. Nope. He didn't get torpids. I don't get fires. Okay. I think the play here is to turn in, kill the Pomeran. Get A back with the Shema. There's another Shema in their base. 
I gotta slow down here. Not give anyone angle. Focus on the Pomeran with the team. Get him out. Maybe my battleships from this side push up then. Three BBs here. Can't really lob this island though. It's a bit of an annoying one. As I said, I can't lob islands with this ship, so this is why the map is double shit. It's not only that I have very bad concealment, I also can't really make use of islands that well. I think he DCP'd, so maybe we can get some permafires here. I have no clue where the submarine is. Really interesting. Nah, he DCP'd now. Okay, I'm still in a position to shoot him. If needed, I can even pop my spotter plane, which is very good. Urshima is capping. Nope. Urshima ate a torp before he could finish, so fuck. At least he survived. I think that was a Yamagiri torp. Lucky that he only loses 14k HP or so. Oh, it's a range petrol. Cool. I don't know who the fuck plays range petrol, but he does. Finally, I'm unspotted. Very good. I'm on a timer though, because the GK and the Satsuma are coming into middle, and this motherfucker here and his. Pomeran doesn't die, he just fucking doesn't die. The range Petro is sitting in base shooting me, I mean, hmm. Questionable. Okay, that's AP burst. I should have done that earlier, I guess. Did a lot of damage. I don't have the Hydroacoustische Suche on, so a bit of a pickle here between sub, three destroyers, four destroyers actually. Oh yeah, fuck, now I, mm, uh, I expert loaded at the wrong time. If you burst it, you can't expert load, you actually have to let the reload tick. Uh, you can only expert load until like half reload, otherwise you completely cuck yourself. I'm gonna help the Dalarner hopefully survive. Oh, the Shimmer actually pushed this guy in a way that made my salvo fail. Um, wait a second, what exactly am I watching? Dude, this guy, this guy, he's on a whole different level of being brain damaged. A whole different level. Like, how could you possibly, possibly think this is a good idea? Like, after being so lucky the entire game, he does this. Okay, sure, whatever, dude. Honestly, whatever. Over it. <sighs> I have to somehow get one of the battleships out fast. There's too many BBs surrounding me, and uh, I don't have the armor to withstand all of this, so... Even if I'm full HP, I don't... I wanna win the game, kind of, so... Let's fab on battleship. I hope this is already perma. I hope I can get a second one. That was exactly the point where I need to put in some some work, some DPM, even though it's limited in how much DPM I can put out. Uh, oh, he F keys. Um, I'm doing zero damage because I fucking shattered on his armor the entire time. Hey, nice. When he came from that turn. Oh, wait. Is he eating the torp? Yes, I can kill, I can kill. Ah, nice, he's already dead. Perfect. I should be able to turn it and now fuck on the GK. Fucking range mod idiot. Oh, 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 oh. I have to, I can't expert low to HA any yet. I can do it now. Going for an angle on the GK because he probably repaired. And then I want to go back into B. I'm not going to show my intent yet and show it to Haaland. It's like not really worth it at that range. Just let him come in deeper. Okay, now I think I should get a quick spot on the. Okay, the Yamagiri killed himself for no reason. The submarine is up there. I got a quick spot on the GK. No, he's reversing. Quickly burst HE. Turn in. Ah, fire, perma. Now I can help my destroyers against their destroyers, because they're essentially just monk pushing it. The 
of Torp here. No Hydro though, it's a bit of a pickle. Okay, we can burst again. Even more damage for free. Uh, not really for free, he actually gets back turns out. Nice zero damage because I hit the side plating. Okay, the Shimmer is running at our Delarner. He should lose that fight. Haaland? Okay, okay, okay. I think I can fuck with the Haaland. He fucked his Torps. I think I can fuck with the Haaland and run at the GK and then get into B and cap it. Should be fine. I definitely want to help against the Haaland now. Wait, why is he turning flat to the Delarner again? Doesn't make sense. Uh, just burst now, get the damage in. Oh, nice. Decent damage, decent damage. The Ohio is a problem for me. I can't burst again. No. Maybe I should have. I should have probably squeezed one volley in. Oh wait, the GK is dead, I'm brain damaged. Holy shit. Actually, complete and utter brain damage. Shoot the Petro. He's healing. But that is not a Kuzi heal, that is a normal heal, I think. But as you can see here again, like the Petro in the last game, I actually penetrate him everywhere, so it's a really good counter. Oh. It's unusual that you do that much uh, HE damage to a Petro. <laughs> two very long games, two very good games actually, like in terms of how it plays. I mean, sure, I got a lot of damage and kills in both games too, which is very nice, but I really enjoy the back and forth gameplay and the actual gameplay, like there was actual back and forth, kiting, rotating, uh, lots of this shit, which is really cool and it happens very rarely these days in, in World of Warships. He's trying to ram, but I will burst him. Yep, nice. Collecting some f some kills here in the end. Maybe I even get lucky and uh, we see the Holland again. But I didn't even need to heal a lot, I only received one volley from a BB. Positioning was pretty good, I would say, than this game. I mean, sure, some battleships ignored me like crazy, but I mean, I intended it to do that. Like, I saw the BBs moving in on 1, 2, 3, so I go into the middle and kite out, help them a bit. Um, but yeah, like, I could still manage to play middle. Sure, 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 the battleships did ignore me quite a lot. But um, in the end, um, very nice game. Uh, you're definitely not the 300k machine with that DPM, by the way. But it's uh, it's kind of about like when you do the damage and to whom you deal it. I hope I can squeeze the, the kill here and actually get my Kraken. I mean, it looks decent. Look. Aha! There you go. We sniped three ships in the end and randomly got a Kraken as well. That was pretty cool. But yeah, as I said, I like the cruiser. It's nice to play. Um, but in the end, it's just, it falls into the category, kind of into the category of AFK kite, uh, bullshit cruiser. Um, but it does have a bit more viability than like Zhao or uh, what else is there, like even Hindenburg. Because you get a good uh, in between, between like having the burst for the right moment, having the penetra higher penetration than something like a Des Moines, a Zhao, uh, shit like that. Uh, but also getting like the speed and like, let's say half decent concealment, but great AP, like good uh, caliber AP. Yeah, it's it's a bit better than like the other AFK ships, Goliath, Hinden, Zhao. Um, maybe it's even slightly better than Henry for the current meta because it does have better conceal. And uh, you can burst whenever you want instead of having to wait for a reload boost. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for Kasti. Um, decent cruiser, nothing too strong or special, uh, nothing too weak. Um, I personally would say that something like a Marseille was definitely a better release and a better ship in general. Brings a bit more San Martin kind of, maybe even two. So it's kind of in between those and Yinan and uh, Yodo where it's completely useless. Um, but yeah, 
let's see what the future brings, what limitations come in CBs and cuts and shit. So maybe you will actually see the Casti. Uh, obviously, there is not real, there is no real like, let's say, gameplay revolving around it because no one really cares for the penetration anymore. That's what I said multiple times in videos in the past. There is no real need for IFHE the skill or cruisers with more than 40 millimeter pen because there's no clear line between either you get 40 millimeter armor uh, as a cruiser and you tank battleships but then other cruisers with higher caliber or ifhe pen you um or you get let's say shit armor but maybe the penetration or dpm there's no clear line like you have petro with 40 you have napoli deck with 40 but then it already starts napoli sites are 60 uh, Stalin is 50 millimeter. I mean, it's balanced through fire duration. Moskva has 50 everywhere. Um, Novosibirsk uh, has got 50 deck again, or 55 or some shit. Uh, only has 35 sides. So, yeah, I would like to see a bit of a more balanced approach there, where, for example, Kasti would get a bit more armor, um, but keeps the hard hitting HE. Um, yeah, well, and for example, IFHE is a bit reworked. So you have an actual and then like Moskva gets 40, then Des Moines takes IFHE, fucks it out. Like you could have some actual uh, balancing aspects here around this HE pen, but at the moment it's not really worth it to pick it. I mean, obviously straight up Napoli is a better cruiser because it has way less DPM, sure, but it gets the armor and the smoke and the better concealment. So overall it's a better cruiser. Also it has longer range torps, um, not only these YOLO torps, which by the way are decent because it's five and they have 16-6 damage, but... I mean, you don't want to play close to people, really. And um, yeah, that's it. Take care and have a nice week and see you soon.